Um, I'd like to thank you, uh, to thank um, Polygon, Luca, and Eva, and also Sebastian for inviting me uh, in this such amazing night with such amazing speakers. Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a service designer. Um, I, I'm, my roots are in graphic design. I have a background in uh, industrial design. And I spent uh, three years after uh, doing an master, international master in um, product service system design at Polytechnic of Milan. Um, I would like to spend some few words about service design, uh, just to make you understand about more about my perspective and my path. Uh, service design is uh, it's an interdisciplinary approach uh, that uses the best, the best practice of uh, human-centered design. And it usually involves a lot of fun, first of all. And it, it's, it basically creates uh, better places. Uh, it can be a product, as uh, this one shown um, from Project H. Uh, she's uh, Emily Pilloton. She's a design activist. And she made this tool uh, that helps people to transport heavy uh, amount of water. Uh, so it can be a product, but can at the same time turn, um, begin a social innovation. It can be an interaction uh, interface that can change your experience about a certain environment uh, that can make you change your perspective of, on how you interact within uh, people, environment, or daily, daily life. It can be a service uh, that can help you uh, share things, uh, share knowledge, create uh, something within your community and the neighbor. Um, but it's always uh, a system. It always uh, collect together different disciplines, it brings them together, and it creates a system. What is actually not, probably, uh, it's this kind of design. Uh, I don't know if any of you knows these people, these guys. Uh, there's Philip Stark and Karim Rashid. Uh, nothing to say about against these guys, but they're great designers, whatever, but, you know, what they get from people, it's something like that that you can see in the bottom left pictures that they thank Philip Stark for making a toilet paper handle instead of a juicy uh, salif. Um, there is also uh, this guy that is a comedian uh, actor that he used to make fun of uh, actual design today. And he basically says yes to this joke that says, if you can understand it, that it's a chair. <laughs> if you don't, then it's design. <laughs> so this to give you an idea of what kind of design I'm talking about. Uh, which is probably completely different from what is happening on crowdfunding today, which uh, allows people to, um, to decide what they want and allows people to uh, have what they need. So it's, it's a kind of design that is made for people, not for, uh, that can be understood only for designers. It, and it creates a, a better connection, a better interaction with, the, uh, with humans. And it's, it actually start, uh, started with music. Um, but the good thing is that can be applied to any kind of discipline. You create a network, not only towards people, but towards disciplines. Uh, there's a, an, open, an ongoing discussion like on uh, real estate today. There is um, a discussion about civic crowdfunding. This is a building that was one of the first skyscrapers uh, that was built through a crowdfunding campaign, and now is the tallest building in Bogota. And there's also discussion about how to combine crowdfunding and participatory budgeting, for example, which is a way to how to bridge the gap between citizens and public administrations. And after a long period of research, I found out that there's a need, probably this is true, especially in Italy, to create new strategies that uh, can promote this bottom-up approach and try to uh, connect the two worlds together. Uh, so what could be next? Um, what I like about crowdfunding is that it's clear it's not only about raising money. Uh, Jason just said that it brings a lot of opportunities within uh, the cities. It brings new jobs. But as a service design perspective, what I like the most is that it's about bringing communities together. And this is the, the aspect on which I started working on uh, with the project uh, Fuse Drops, uh, which 
um, in, in which uh, I wanted to combine uh, crowdfunding and the power of uh, service design tools to achieve these results and create something uh, that is more viable for, uh, for people. So um, I don't want to say that this is going to be the future, but it's my bet on the future of crowdfunding that can be about service design crowdfunding. Uh, that can create something that, uh, that is more valuable inside the city, but at the same time, as we saw, there are some problems with people understanding how to make campaigns. Uh, there is a problem with education from bakers as well. So this is a way of creating new services, but also to provide more services in the city. Um, I hope with this project I can help somehow to create better places. Thank you. <laughs>